first of our 30 games this weekend will feature the number two overall player in the ESPN 100, Derek Lively. How many games this weekend? 30. All right, Derek Lively, this guy owns impressive physical measurables and advanced skill. Boy, he can run the floor and he runs with vision. Always with his eye on the basketball and his eye on the rim. He's an elite lob dunker. Defensively, he's an exceptional shot blocker. You beat him, he finds you, and he makes you pay with the block shot. He will get the chase down block at any time during the game. On the ball, he's got quick feet. He stays with the dribble, keeps the space that you need to be an elite shot blocker, and he starts the fast break. And on the other side for Vertical Academy, we got Mikey Williams. This guy is a highlight waiting to happen. Number 11 in the ESPN 60. And trust me, that highlight's gonna happen. <laughs> a legitimate threat from the three-point line. He's a better passer than people know about. He's got a float game when he gets to the basket, and he is trying to put defenders on a poster. An exciting prospect in the future in his offing. Jamil Brown, as we said, headed to Penn State. Derek Lively is the Duke signee. Drive. Matt Mayock as well. Nice feet inside. That's to Sivan Turner has ever coached. According to the coach, Mikey Williams, Trayvon Parker getting the start tonight. Abdul Bea Jr., unranked player. Plenty of offers as well. And that one is stripped away by Sivan Triplett. There for the putback and the cleanup is Jimmy. Headed to Penn State. Open jump shot for Corey Carvey. 95 pound guard. Three ball rattles in. Players that his dad has ever coached. Seth Berger, classy competitive guy. Buries it from long range. Vertical with the slight lead. Corey Carvey looking good early. They're realizing I'm Derek Lively, you're not. And it's time to show it. There, like that. I didn't like that, man, chick. Cardi, authority at the rim. An elite lob catcher and putback guy. And that time, Mitchell, Christian Reeves. I, I love this class for John Shire. Mikey Williams, that's the first shot he's taken, and that one goes in. By the way, we will see Filipowski. Coach for Vertical Academy did a nice job of putting Mikey in the middle against the zone. Jimmy O'Brown from long range, elite for that rebound. Knotted up at 12, two minutes to go here in this first quarter. <laughs> Throwing that one up for Tremaine Parker. That's a great duo here for Fernal, but he can create even when he's not shooting the basketball. Yeah, well, he brings a crowd when he puts it on the deck. He throws it upstairs to as a freshman, and he can score. We know he can score. Other parts of his game, he is certainly refining. And he's a really good passer for a scoring guard. Mikey Williams buries that one. He's taken two. He's really efficient. You were saying? Mikey Williams back to back threes. He's come to play in the shadows of the Pro Basketball Hall of Fame. That's Paul. How about the jab step shot? Great. Release and rotation. He knows he's open, and this time it's just splash from the outside. Vertical Academy up 10. Mikey Williams. Play. Quinn Berger, son of the head coach, gets that pass stripped away. Mikey Williams, look out. How about this steal by Mikey? Gets the correct hand in the passing lane. Once he put his hand on the basketball, it was a foot race. He of his shots, including that dunk. Three ball is good. One of his quieter dunks. We've seen him bring the house down before when he finished his plays. How about that? Corey Carby. The finish there was triplet. In transition with the flush is Nick Hamrick. Maya Jr. West on the shot clock. Mikey Williams Jr. That one is good and the foul! And a little check. Draped all over him. That's Triplett, great athlete. Mikey with the strong step back. 
just to create a little bit of time and space. He has a... Berger gets a screen from Lively. Lively the roll. Lively is there! Sets the screen, little pick and roll. He just rolls to the... He is an elite rim protector because the ones that he doesn't block, he changes and challenges. Parker buries the three, Tremaine. Tremaine Parker's shot short, here's Mayock pushing that ahead to Lively again! Lively's been living above the rim this entire first half. Floor for Vertical Academy, it's Mikey Williams, Paul Biancardi. And Mikey Williams has come out under control and highly efficient. How about the jab step, three point shot? He does a fabulous job of creating space with his footwork, that time in transition. And he's giving it to you on the defensive end. Waits on it, picks it, goes coast to coast. And on the other side for Westtown, it's been the big fella. Number two in the senior class, Derek Lively. Working the glass on the missed shot. Offense can play through him because he's such a great passer. Can knock down the three-point shot, but where he does his damage at seven feet tall, is on the glass and blocking shots. With that type of skill, his future is very bright. The number two player in the ESP. They've both lived up to the billing. You look at the numbers, vertical doing it from beyond the arc. Eight of 16 from where they belong. Throwing it up a little too high for Lively. That's hard to do. Throws it behind his back dunk. And the foul. Payton at the rim is playing chess. Everybody else is playing checkers. Gets his own miss, gathers, <laughs> and just goes up strong with that reverse. Quickest, most athletic players on the floor, and all of a sudden, it's an eight-point game. Shake Harvey. Here's Mikey Williams. Ahead. The three ball from Bayon Jr. It's after the miss. He anticipates it, he works for it. He's got great hands. Rebound, put back, dunk. Matt, sure of the ball, but he's got soft hands when it comes to his jump shot. Great back. Nice feet look at Mikey Williams with an acrobatic shot. They set it up with the back cut, beautiful layup. Three ball is good, that's Quinn Berger. There's been a lid on the hoop for San Diego. Mikey Williams, spot up Jay for three. Tiny, weaving his way, navigating to the rack. How about that for love him so far? Double digit rebounds, double digit points, and Mikey Williams doing his own thing as well. The three, the inside game, he can dish it, he can score it, and he can talk a good one as well. Lively has been a hard man to stop. Quinn Berger gets that one to drop. That's his Derek Lively with his 14th rebound. 16 points, 14 rebounds. How about a steal for Mikey Williams off the glass? No good. Follow oh, is good by Abdul Baya Jr. Rim. Chance for vertical to push if they want. They do. The give. Williams off the glass. Oh, it looked like it might have dropped, but no. And that was Corey Carvey with the push. Matt Schick along with Paul B. and Cardi, Derek Lively getting it done on the offensive end and at the other end as well. That's what happens when you're a seven-footer, Paul. Well, he's a vertical threat on the offensive end. Defensively, he is an elite rim protector. And he, he does so with his body and his shot blocking range. His and Brown may have to cover Mikey Williams on the defensive end. Mayock kind of double clutch there off the side of the backboard. Nice to have a seven-footer to help. Derek Lively gives it. Lively can elevate here in the final 5-15. Same with Mikey Williams. Williams has 20. Lively with 16. Make it 18. 18 points. Six. Way Lively, it appears three personal fouls. At least that's what they're saying inside the arena. Not the and careless with the basketball. Neil Brown is there. Seven point game and a quick timeout for Abdul Bayad Jr. with his own pilfer. Dudley, the kick. Here's Parker. That one is good. Quinn 
Win Berger three. West Town not going away. Vertical again turns it over. Berger again for three. Urias, four point game. To the rack, Berger gets that one to go. We've got a two point game with less than two. The second half. We'll see if he can catch fire when it matters the most. Five on the shot clock. Mikey Williams with the basketball. The dish inside, and guess who on the block? That's Derek Lively, but it gets back to Vertical Academy. Williams with the left hand! What a block by Lively, and what a play by Mikey Williams. To stick with it. Lively puts that one in. He's got 20 points. For it to happen, how about Derek Lively? Doesn't even leave his feet. Gets the block. Mikey really quick and alert. The spin, the fadeaway, and the bucket. And then on the other end, Lively picking up the loose change. He's so quick up to the rim. Has very little wasted motion when he foul. Mikey Williams. A lot of control. Gives that one to Parker. Parker is fouled. A lot of time went off the clock. Thought they would have fouled in the backcourt. Looking for his fifth and sixth point. In a big time way. He can put up 20 30 in a game. He and Mikey Williams have been a good duo all season for vertical. Now, four point game. Nearly a steal from Parker. Parker on the deck. Parker. Parker's got it. And a possession arrow. I don't believe we saw a timeout there. And it is West Town ball. Good defense from Mikey Williams. Lively will put that one in to finish with 22 points. But it will not be enough as Vertical Academy comes into Springfield College and starts our ESPN coverage of the Hoop Hall Classic with an emphatic win. Thanks to the scoring and dishing ability of Mikey Williams and the complimentary piece of Trayvon Parker. Wow. The Vertical Academy was outstanding tonight. They were tough, they were together, and they had teamwork all game long. And Mikey Williams stepped up big, not just with 22 points, but he had six steals and four assists. Tremaine Parker in a huge role with 16 points. And Carvey in the middle against the zone early in the game. Vertical Academy played a very effective and efficient and together game. And when they play together, there's a lot of teams they can beat. 22 points, 20 rebounds for the Duke signee. It was Mikey Williams with his 22 points helping to deliver Vertical Academy to the win. That wraps it up from Springfield. For producer Andy Brill, our entire crew, including our stats guy, did a great job, Adam Giardino. Our final score, Vertical Academy 67, West Town 65. For Paul Biancardi, I'm Matt Chick. Be sure to tune in tomorrow.